Hello dear students, today we want to talking about circle, how we draw a circle and the parts of the circle. At first we need to the, doing the definitions of the circle. What means of circle? A circle is a closed plan figure with all points the same distance from the center point. It has no beginning and no ending point. Okay, now look at this figure. We have this one at here it show us this a game okay or like a game this is a circle okay now I show them the circles that's wide one and I draw it again look this one is our circle okay I redraw it again by this red one this is our circle okay now at here it show us look it's a curved line okay it has since any starting point or ending point all the points if you take a point for example you take a point from here the same distance from the center for example here if you take a point here to the center it is the same so at here the same all the points on the circle are the same distance have the same length from the center point okay now we're talking about the parts of of the circle the first one is a diameter what it means of diameter look a diameter is a line segment or a core that pass through the center so diameter and it has two endpoint connect to the edge of the circle look for example we have a line segment look at this line segment it starts from one side of the circle and it pass through the center point this is center a a is the center point and connect to the it has two end point one of them on this edge okay look one of them on this edge of an edge or the others on at this edge so it passed through this and when you sew a line segment that connect to both sides of the edge of the circle it has two end point and it passed through the center when it passed through the center this is called what diameter so this point c and this point D okay this point D so when you you have you read it you tell me C look C and this is D C D line segment on it is diameter so when I tell them show me diameter you write diameter equal to a C D line segment on it how you write it for me okay what means of radius radius is a line segment that connect to the center with a point on the circle is called radius look for example look it only it pass it connect to the center means it has two a line segment it has two end point one of them on the center and the others on the edge of the circle okay look like this so this is called diameter or oh, it's sorry radius radius also for every time radius is a half of diameter if you divide diameter by two directly you get radius okay so you you can write ready okay ready or plural so how we read is when I tell them tell me what which one is, is already so you tell me what B B A 
a line segment on it is diameter look like here BE is a diameter okay now or every time you can divide diameter into two equal part direct you get radius sorry BA is a radius okay so what means of course core is a diameter but what's the difference between core and diameter only core it doesn't pass through the center point okay so only it doesn't through pass through when a core pass through the center is called diameter but when a line segment it doesn't pass through the center it's called what dam it's a called core a diameter where it doesn't pass through the center is called court look for example it has two end point on both sides look but it doesn't pass through the center so this is called court court ef okay for example this e this one is e and this one is f okay so how you write ef line segment is a court okay this is a part of the circle okay now how we draw it for drawing a circle we need to use compass okay compass is a tool we use it so as a tool for constructing circle you can use compass to construct a circle with a radius of for example any diameter you want or any radius you want okay in compass we use radius okay now the first time you need to draw uh, draw and label a point P center point and play the point of them of the compass on P you need to play the compass needle on this point middle point and you need to open compass uh, for example your radius is 7 centimeter you need to open compass use a ruler until 7 centimeter and uh, what's the length of the radius the third step you need to use compass to make a circle how we use it L compass look at this video how we draw it look you need to put down and here you need to put down compass needle at the center and the other side is a pencil and don't move the center or you don't move the compass needle you need to only turn it like by this shape okay directly you can draw a circle okay and now look you need to put down the pencil through the compass hole okay after that We need to open the compass by using the same diameter, radius, sorry, not diameter. Look, for example, we have six centimeter. You need to open the compass until six centimeter. Okay. After that, you need to turn it, and you can draw the circle. Okay. Now we study what means of central angles. When two radii of the circle meet at this at its center, they form it as a central angle. The measure of the central angle is less than or equal to 118. Okay, look. When we have two radius, this one the first one, and this one is the second one so this angles is called what central angles okay now what is the sum of the central angles in a circle okay at one what is the sum of the central angle the first step you need to use compass i show them how you draw a circle draw four radius of the say after you draw the circle you need to draw four radius of the circle to show for central angles okay look for example this is the first one the second one 
the, the third one, and this is the last one, fourth one. Okay, so it shows us four central angles. After that, you need to use protractor, the tool for measuring angles that I explained in the last lesson to using protractor to measure its central angles. You need to put down protractor on zero or central or center of the protractor at this point. After that, you can measure this one is 180 and this one is right angle directly you know this 19 and this 30 this one 60 if we plus all of them directly you get the total angles is 360 degree i hope all of them understand very well now i will give them a homework number two number three number four number five number seven and number eleven number ten is your homework i hope all of them understand very well have a nice day bye